For this part, we want to know about when a function is increasing or decreasing, which we've already done. So I'm just going to draw a little imaginary boundary line um, so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and do it on all three of these. But what you should also recognize is we are now talking about local behavior and absolute behavior. So local behavior, which some people will call um, relative. So let me write this down. Instead of saying local, they could call this relative. Okay. Um, what that means is tell me where you have highs and lows. Tell me where you have maxes or mins. Um, and when we do that, the relative or the local will be every place where there's a peak or a valley. Whereas the absolutes will just be the tallest one and the lowest one wherever there's a turning point. And so we're going to kind of go through that as we walk through these three examples. So what I have, first of all, is I want to know where it's increasing or decreasing. So as I read this from left to right, I see that this is going up until I hit right about there, which is about negative 2.5 or negative 5 halves. So this is going to be increasing. And remember, you're telling me from left to right, from negative infinity until negative 5 halves, which is negative 2.5. Okay, always use parentheses, do not use hard brackets, because if you use hard brackets, you're telling me a single point can go up or down, and a single point cannot go up or down. So what's happening now? Now he is going down. Now he's going down. So he is decreasing. Where is he decreasing reading from left to right? So he starts decreasing at negative 5 halves, which is here. And then he continues decreasing till he gets to 1. So you're reading it from left to right. Do not tell me height. Do, so don't tell me it goes up to 5 and a half. I don't care. Um, where else is he increasing? So from here on, he's going to be going up for the rest of his life. So starting at 1 and moving to the right, he'll be going up. He'll be increasing. So let's do these ones. So I've got increasing and decreasing. Let's write those. And then I will come back and do the absolutes and locals. So we've got increasing and decreasing. Things I could have done before I started recording. OK, so what happens is I read from left to right. He is dropping down, 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 down until he hits right there. Okay, so what x value is that? That's going to be a negative 1 and a half, which is negative 3 halves. So he's decreasing, oops, sorry, piece of trash, from negative infinity to negative 3 halves. So from negative infinity to negative 3 halves, he's dropping down. Okay, negative, oh, I just pinched my thumb. Negative infinity to negative 3 halves, he is decreasing. Okay, where else is he decreasing? Hang on, i got to put this down, otherwise somebody's going to think it means something. All right, there we go. So he's decreasing. That was exciting. All right, so he's dropping, dropping, dropping. Well, now he's going up. So where is he going up? What values between? So from negative 1.5 until 2, he's going up. So he's increasing from negative 3 halves until positive 2. And then where is he decreasing? So again, reading from left to right, starting at an x value of 2, he's going to drop downwards for the rest of his life. So we'll say union from 2 forever to the right. He will be decreasing. Okay. So let's do the last one. Where is he increasing? So that's what we're going to start with. Be very careful because look at these ones. They have arrows implying that they go on and on and on for all eternity. These ones have solid points. So, in other words, I am not moving on from negative infinity and into positive infinity. I actually have a distinct starting point. So I got nothing, I got nothing, and then all of a sudden, oh look, now I'm starting to increase. Where am I increasing at? I am increasing from about negative 7 until I get to negative 3. Okay, so from negative 7 
to negative 3, I'm increasing. Then what do I do? From negative 3 until I get to positive 3, it looks like I'm going down. So from negative 3 to positive 3, I'm decreasing. And then from positive 3 up to, it looks like, 7, I'm going to be increasing. So again, use soft brackets. Even though those are filled in circles, a single point cannot increase. A single point cannot decrease. So you're telling me the width of where these things are happening. So now let's look at local behavior. For local behavior, I want to know where all the peaks and valleys are. Okay, so here's a peak right here. Okay, here is a valley right here. So like a mountaintop, a peak, and then a valley. Okay. Here's a valley, and then here's a peak, okay? On this one, I've actually got four. So I've got a very, very, very low point. I've got a peak. I've got a valley, and I've got a very, very tall point. So with relative or with locals, you're going to tell me all the peaks and valleys excluding endpoints. All the peaks and valleys excluding endpoints. Well, for my local behavior, I've got a local max at negative 5 halves, okay? So a local max, we'll put max, at x equals negative 5 halves, okay? Now I've got a valley, so that's a local min. So I've got a local minimum value, so a local min at x equals 1. So where is your peak? Your peak is at negative 5 halves. Where is your valley? Your valley is at 1. So since that's the tallest it's going to be, I can't tell you how tall it's going to be over here because it's just going to keep going up. I can't tell you how low it's going to go over here because it's just going to keep going down. So really the only two points I'm concerned with are these two that I've highlighted in yellow, which means they are also our absolute maxes and mins. Okay, so our absolute max is also going to be at x equals negative 5 halves. And our absolute min is also going to be at x equals 1. Okay, so what are you doing? You're like, I don't understand the difference. The locals or the relatives are going to be all the peaks and valleys. Your absolute max and min will be the very tallest and will be the very lowest. Okay which means I just completely and totally lied to you. Holy cow. Because it keeps going up and up and up forever, you don't have an absolute max. Land at Goshen, I just totally lied to you. Okay? You do have relative maxes and mins. Your absolute max is somewhere in positive infinity because it's going to go upwards forever. Your absolute min is somewhere in negative infinity because it's going to go downwards forever. So you do not have absolutes. Okay? But you do have locals. So let's look at this one now that I totally screwed that up. So I've already highlighted my peaks and my valleys. I do not have absolutes on this one because it's going to go forever up and it's going to go forever down. So I do not have a very tallest point. I do not have a very lowest point. Okay, but I do have relatives. So my relatives are going to occur at negative 3 halves. So I have a local min at x equals negative 3 halves, and I have a local max at x equals 2. So why do I not have absolutes? Because this is going to continue going up forever. So I don't know how tall he gets, because no matter how tall I say he gets, he's going to get taller. I don't know how low he gets, because no matter what value I state, he can get lower than that. So my absolute maxes and mins don't exist. But I do have peaks and valleys that are locals. Okay, so let's look at this one. Now this is the one that I was thinking of a while ago when I wrote all that crap down. What I have here is I've got peaks and valleys, but remember your absolutes can be endpoints, whereas your locals cannot. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's do what we're familiar with first. I've got a local max at negative 3. So a local max at x equals negative 3, because I got a, a peak there. I have a valley, so a local min at x equals positive 3. 
But now look at your endpoints because I actually have them this time. My very, very lowest point on this entire curve occurs at negative 7. So I have an absolute min at x equals negative 7, and I've got an absolute max at x equals positive 7, because that's the tallest that this thing is going to be, and that's the lowest that this thing is going to be. So your relatives would be these two, and your absolutes would be these two.